group of eminent experts has reasonable grounds to believe that the governments of Yemen, the United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia are responsible for human rights violations. If there are systemic flaws in the targeting process, causing civilian casualties beyond what one would expect, then that process needs to be examined and where there are flaws, they need to be addressed and amended. We have seen no sign that there has been any attempt to do that. UNHCR is calling on all parties to ensure the physical safety of civilians and the freedom of movement and to guarantee safe routes for civilians to leave conflict areas. UNHCR identified a series of protection needs requiring urgent attention. Most prominent among them are the specific needs of children who may be separated from their families and of women who may be at risk of sexual harassment and violence either during flight or when living in overcrowded settings. There are three main areas of concern. The first is obviously the hostilities themselves, the conduct of hostilities. The second area of serious concern is the restrictions imposed by the coalition on the accessibility of the Yemeni population to vital supplies, food, medicine. And the third area, which is of, I think, considerable concern, is detention. We have found that all parties appear to be carrying out what we believe to be arbitrary detention. The Yemeni people deserve better. They are a proud people with a long civilized history and we owe it to them to do everything we can to ensure that their plight is relieved as soon as possible.